howdy diddly dandy there, chums, to Sai, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys, in the viewer versus a bit of a flashback into the past, because this is on Kadena's planet, and this is before we did the vigil, and you can see here, there was only, like, what, four comms balls? And one of them is mine, this red one over here, that's my one, yes it is, I guess. Anyways, if you want to come here, the coordinates are in the bottom left corner of the screen, don't worry, I'll be making those nice and big for you a little bit later on in this video, and I'm um, explaining what galaxy this is in, and all sorts of other shenanigans but anyway it's in Eisentam but we'll get to that later but anyhow this is the planet itself for Kadena's sort of visual there's a couple of really cool bases upon this planet and yes come here and place down a comms ball by this portal is your best bet and yeah hopefully at the end of this video I'll be revisiting this and I'll be showing you the amount of comms balls that are there now now it's only been like the space of what three days over this weekend so yes don't expect a whole freaking ton of them but yeah, I'll be showing you a few messages that are left by some of the travellers over this one weekend. And yes, like if you, like I say, if you want to come and make your mark on this planet, please do. Now, if you want to build a base here, just build it a little way away from any of the other bases that you see here. Maybe about, what, 4,000 years, 5,000 years at a minimum. So yes, just be really sort of courteous to your neighbours because, yeah, base part count. We don't want to see crashes happening, people coming here. So yeah, there we go. It's a lovely bubble lush planet. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Some really nice bases already frequent this place. So I'm landing by a base right now. I've landed a little way away from it just to give it a chance to render by the time I get there. But you can see it over there. Look at it. It's freaking colossal, isn't it? It looks like some sort of giant Ferris wheel gone wrong or the internal workings of a washing machine. Yes, I have no idea what this freaking thing is, but it does look pretty darn impressive, whatever it is. It looks like some sort of Hadron Collider turned sideways. Who freaking knows? Oh, I thought that was the base computer. Well, I might well, here to save. Let's go see who built this, shall we, people in the view of us? So, yeah, here we go. There we go. And it was made by Aswood. Lovely. What a lovely base, my friend. Who cares? Awesome. Anyhow, so, yeah, I've built my own base here. But like I say, this was as we was doing the visual. This was the actual day of the visual. I got here, like, a little bit early. So I had a little bit of a wander around. Got some video footage in, in sort of earnest of making this sort of video too has a follow-up video because yes there's people that probably still would like to come here and pass on their respects and put their little stamp on this place to sort of say well goodbye Kadena because yeah I believe the granddaughters of Kadena still play No Man's Sky and they may frequent this sort of planet and drop on by so you know leaving a nice little message or putting down a base could be a nice thing to do anyway so this is where I was standing with Professor Cynical and other travellers to pass on their respects and wishes to Kadena and the family and yeah there we go look at this base it's a giant lighthouse and it's meant something sentimentally to Kadena and had a lot of meaning to her and she built this alongside zoo gaming so if you don't know who zoo is i put links in the video description to zoo's channel and things um he was quite a good friend of kadena's kadena was also a moderator over on jason plays channel and she used to frequent a lot of discords of inside of the community she was a well-known traveler to us all and all the interactions i had with kadena i had a couple of dm messages going backwards and forwards because i'd done a little tour of jelly beans base some time ago one of our um, granddaughters and yeah fairly awesome base if you want to see that i'll put a link in the top right hand corner to that go check it out it's pretty darn freaking nice lovely family all the interactions i had were freaking great with them so yes it's, it's, it's a real shame it's a real loss to the actual community of no man's sky and she'd be sorely missed in the verse so here is my base, people in the view of us. Yes, hello there. Cool. So yeah, people, here you go. I'll take you around my base. I've put down a little comms ball here as well. I think that may have removed my comms ball over at the portal, but we're going to go back at the portal in a bit, people. And I'm going to read out all the other messages. Well, I'll put them on screen and you can see which travellers left them. Anyhow, let's spin this around and I'll show you what I've built. I haven't gone to town here for a reason. So what I've done is I've just built this sort of robot here. It's like a crashed freighter. And I was thinking a crashed 
freighter has sort of like it's come to its demise hasn't it it's come to its end of days but yes what i've started to do is build these little droids here i mean this one's quite a large droid but what i'm thinking is maybe each year around november time on the passing of kadena is come back to this planet and build another droid so it sort of organically starts to sort of spring back to life in a roundabout way which i thought might be a nice sort of sentiment something that i could do year on year and sort of just remember kadena and the passing and i've built this little portal here as well and i've sort of chained it onto that thing i think that looks pretty cool i might build more portals like that i think that's quite a gnarly little idea and i've put all solar panels down the side of it and stuff and put one of those bio sort of fuel generators behind it so yeah i think this works quite nicely it's quite a jolly nice little robot as well and i'm hoping it puts a smile on sort of you know the granddaughter's faces if they do come and visit so there we go r.i.p kadena there's my base heck yes i hope it's well enjoyed anyway portal code time so this is in Eisentan, which is the 10th galaxy. Now, if you complete the purge, you get to choose which sort of galaxy you go to. If you choose the green one, it should take you to Eisentan, galaxy 10, this one here. Now, if you haven't got a base in Eisentan already, and you haven't done the purge, and that sounds like quite a large ask, then what I might do is I might hit up an, a live sort of event, sort of tonight, Monday. I'm going to be putting this video live today on Monday. And um, hopefully I'll be here Monday and I can hoober, hoober people across. So yes, if you want to come across to Eisentam and put down a base here, I will go live, open up my live play to all and hope that multiplayer kicks in and hopefully you can come and join us. And that's going to be at 6 p.m. UK time. Hopefully you can make it and hopefully you can put down a base if this is something you wish to do. Anyways, there you go, I've uploaded my base, well now I have Dundley and Dun, and I gave it a name, Kadena's Crashed Freighter Base, so I know what it is, and also so do other people with droid there, heck yes. Anyhow, so here we go, let's uh, just key in that code, so we've got a Diplo, we've got ourselves a Birdieman Bird Bird, a Beetle, we got ourselves a uh, Whale, Fish, whatever, and a Triforce, another Beetle, we got ourselves a another Fish, and a Sunday set twice, double Sunday set. And we got ourselves another fish, and a boat, human boat face, and an eclipse, people. There you go, that's the code. But like I said, this isn't going to work if you're keying it in in Euclid. You're going to go somewhere completely different. You have to be in galaxy number 10, which is Eisentam. Heck yes, you do. Brilliant, eh? Now sometimes people you can get lucky inside of the Nexus and you can see people's bases in other galaxies and sometimes they can be Eisentam. Sometimes the featured bases, it's worth checking those too. A lot of people like to build in Eisentam because it's got more lush planets. Anyway, let's have a look at some of these consoles. Brilliant. Okay, right. Um, 616, because join us. Okay, that one's a little bit sinister. <laughs> but cool. It's called a worked into the law. It's not sinister. But yeah, it's got 1616 in it, doesn't it? But there we go. There we go. There we go. That's from Conks. Nice one. Let's head on down. Let's have a look who else we've got down here. Let's have a look who put in the 1616 law one. I actually really like that one. If that was here, I'd, I'd, if that was at my marker, I'd like that one. That's cool. Now it's by Zen Astro. Okay, cool, yeah? And who's this one by? Hector, oh sorry, I, yeah, Hector oh, is now. Uh, you know what, I haven't got reading glasses. My eyesight's freaking terrible now. So what I might have to do is hover over these and you guys can read them because it saves me butchering names, okay? So let me just move my ship out the way. And that one, I believe, is Cuban. I can read that. That's Cuban. Brilliant, lovely. And um, that one's by Poncho. Sweet. And um, Professor Senecal. We all know Professor Senecal. Yeah, the Glitch Master. Yeah, that's a nice one. And who's over here? And Inside Vortex. He's built some bases in the NMSA hub. Awesome guy. And we got this one, Arawan. Hello there. I think that was the other person that was on the uh, platform with myself and uh, Professor Cynical in the video earlier. Asimov. Cool. Pretty cool. Was that the maker of that base that we went and saw? I think that rings a bell. M. Walker. Coolio. Let's head on over this way. And you can see here, my my comms balls vanished. It's not there. It's probably because I put one at my base. And we got Miyogi. Nice. Hello, Miyogi. And we got Sir Easy Bay. Righto. So let's head on over this way. Yeah, because my comms balls vanished now. Okay. Miss you every day, Kadena. Jason plays. Nice one, Jason. Sweet. Head on over this way. 
and we've got Sef Zahan. Very cool. So quite an abundance of comms balls. Now I'm wondering whether comms balls have been limited to a certain amount. So maybe I'm not seeing the full ensemble. But there we go, people. What a lovely sentiment and what a lovely load of messages. Thank <laughs> yes. Until next time, people. You've been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.